Hello, in this video, I will explain the difference between long edge binding, also known as flip on the long side, and short edge binding, also known as flip on the short side. First, let's take a look at a piece of paper. On the piece of paper, we have four sides, but there are two types. One is long and one is short. The short one is known as the short edge or the short side. The long one is known as the long side or long edge. The option you're going to pick is going to affect how it's going to be flipped. If it's print on the short edge, that means it's going to flip this way, like a calendar. If you choose to print on the long edge, it's going to flip this way, just like a regular book. Let's take a look at some examples. First, we have this document. The default layout is portrait, as in this way. And it's printed two slides using the long edge binding. With this setting, that means if it were a book, then the binding is going to be here. So this is where I will place my clippers. So we are flipping. It's going to flip this way. Note this number here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Flip it over, 8, 9, 10, and all the way, like so. So we flip this way. Okay, now with the same document, but print on the short edge binding. So with a short edge binding means if we have a book, then it's going to be flipped this way. So that means they're going to group that top part together. I'm going to go ahead and place my clickers up there. With this document, when we're flipping, we're flipping this way. See number eight, it's all the way up there. And it goes this way. Now, what if I printed a portrait document two-sided using short edge, and I try to flip on the long side. Then this is what you're going to see. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. First page, fine. Second page, uh-oh. It's upside down. Number eight is down here. 28 is up there. And then on the odd page, okay, odd page is fine. But now if you go to the even page, it's upside down. Odd page, fine, even down here. Let's look at it side by side. With the correct binding, when we flip to the second page, we should be able to see it in order. Both the incorrect option, short edge binding, it's upside down. Now let's take a look at landscape documents. So this document is a landscape document. It's printed using the long edge binding method. That means if we turn this into a book, we are binding it up there. So I put my clippers up there and I flip my document this way. One, two, three, four, five. 33, everything's in order. So this is flipping it on the long side. What if I chose long edge binding, but then I was thinking I wanna flip it this way. Let's see what it looks like. First page, fine. Second page, the words are upside down. Third page, fine. Fourth page, Words are upside down. This page, fine. This side, incorrect. This side, correct. Let's put this back in the right order. It's supposed to be flipping this way. Now let's take a look at a landscape document. It's printed on the short edge binding. Short edge binding means it's going to be binded right here. So we're going to put our clippers right here. Now, first page, correct. 
Now if you flip this way, there. Now it's in the right order and not upside down. And then this page is fine. Click one more. This page is also correct. Also correct. So the difference between long edge binding and short edge binding is how you want to flip your document when it's done. With a landscape document, if I want to flip like this way, then I want to choose the short edge binding. If I want to flip it like a calendar, I need to pick long edge binding like this and read the document like this. And same with our portrait. Short edge binding, it's going to flip up and down like a calendar. Long edge binding, left and right, just like a book. For any updates or additional resources, make sure to check the description. Hope this helps.